I'd love to shrink myself down and get in one of these cars. I think it'd be a pretty wild ride. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Yep, I'm back out here with the no prep car. And I have the GoPro inside of it. I wanna get some basically in-car footage, I guess. But first, I wanna see if I can get this thing to 40 miles an hour. I have the DTS one set up, but a couple of you asked me how I set it up and if I could go through the process. So I'm gonna try my best here. I do this all by myself and it's a pretty intensive process, I guess you could call it. So I'm not gonna do it live. It's actually already set up, but I'm gonna try to show you how I do it. I'd like to show you my screen, but it looks like the sun's not gonna allow that. But first thing you wanna do is go to the connect in the Traxxas app. If you've already linked the DTS-1 to your app, you go to set transmitter to link mode. If not, go to set transmitter to bind mode. Once it starts doing its thing, you turn on the main base. It should connect and give you a little light in the top saying the DTS-1 is connected. After that, you wanna hold the middle button, the set button on the top of the DTS-1 until it beeps twice. After it beeps, you wanna head down to the big end where you have the end module set up already and turn it on. Once it's turned on, they should both be connected. Then you can go through the process of making sure your sensors are lined up and you're good to go. My tripod actually broke, so we're gonna get some really good low to the ground footage here. Let's try this out. Just like last time, I'm starting off pretty slow just to make sure the car is going straight. So far, I don't know if you can see that, but 36 miles an hour, launching at only 75% throttle. That's pretty promising. Man, I don't know if you remember, I talked about the wheelie bar being a little higher in the last video. Man, this thing launches pretty cool now. I know it's not the best for speed, but it looks cool. That pass is actually 37 miles an hour, so we're getting closer. Let's keep trying. little too hot. I'm getting faster, but not speed wise. I'm getting faster ET wise. I'm gonna try one more time before I move on to the no prep car, but I think I might have to make some more changes to this thing to get it to 40. It definitely didn't feel like 40, but let's see. Nope, still no better. Well, let's chalk that up and see what the no prep car can do. I wanna see this GoPro inside of it. I didn't really make any major changes to this car since the last time it was out here. Basically just that rear body mount and the GoPro's in it right now, but other than that, nothing major. But obviously I can't set up this whole timing system without actually giving it a try, so here I am. I'm expecting it to be a little slower with the weight of the GoPro in there, but who knows? Let's just try it out and see. I'm really interested to see that GoPro footage now. I forget how powerful this thing is after driving a couple of other RCs. Just to prove my point, that was a very soft launch and it hit 44 miles an hour. That was definitely a wild ride. I can't wait to look over the GoPro footage and see what that looked like inside the car. Good news is the car is all good. Don't see anything wrong with it other than scratching the body as always. I uh, set the DTS-1 back up, so I'll make a couple more passes. I 
I had to drive that one around pretty good up there and I'm consistently still running one sevens at 40 to 45 miles an hour today. That last pass definitely felt really nice. I think the battery was dying halfway down track or maybe when I crossed the finish line. It was one of the straightest passes I had with a no prep car today and it only ran 41 miles an hour. I say only, I know this is only 66 feet so that's still pretty impressive but nothing like what the car normally runs. Like I said before, I'm super excited about seeing that GoPro footage from the inside. I think that'll be pretty cool to see something new at least besides a no prep car i'm still pretty impressed with the dragster even though it didn't get to 40 miles an hour i was really close i was hitting about 38 i don't quite remember what i was hitting last time out but 38 is really impressive still maybe i'll try changing the gear in a little bit more or maybe do some more tuning in the esc oh wow that was a blast to win I know this isn't a normal car that you can buy and other people would have experience with, but I'm curious what y'all would think could help me get over 40 miles an hour. I've also been looking around for new places to test and run my cars. I would really like to set up a no prep drag racing association down here in Louisiana. My biggest hurdle right now is finding a place to actually run. This is cool for me, but we definitely can't have 20 and 30 people out here we it, there's just not enough room and plus i can't run to 132 feet the reason i bring that up is i've seen a bunch of posts a bunch of y'all have commented about y'all groups around the country i'd like to know how y'all found spots to run in do you go to just the mall or you know a school a parking lot where where do you go to run I'd, I'd really like to know if anybody can help me out with that that would be amazing anyway i hope you enjoyed the video leave a like if you enjoyed watching these cars run make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos and as always thanks again for watching peace